On this day, 77 years ago, the United States dropped the second of two atomic bombs on Japan. The bomb on August the 9th, 1945, fell on Nagasaki. An estimated 40,000 people were killed instantly. Five days later, Japan surrendered, ending the Second World War. About a month after that, American Marines arrived on the coast of Nagasaki. A Central Texan was one of those Marines. The bomb dropped in a valley, and everything for a half mile up the mountain was gone. There was a railroad ran through there, and the uh, timbers in the railroad were gone. The residential area, the thing that I remember mostly is walking through there, and evidently a house used to stand here because here are two ceramic flower pots, and those, the ceramic flower pots were not damaged. He and the Marines remained in Japan for a little more than a month. His memories of that time are still crystal clear. That was just a small part, though, of his time in the military. I was pretty wild at the time, and I decided I had to get outside. <laughs> Archie Moxigemba turned 98 years old back on July the 4th. A fitting birthday for a man who served his country for more than two decades in two branches of the military all around the world. I joined the military in November of 1942. Archie's 22-year military career almost didn't happen. This American of Polish descent was born and lived his early years in Wilson County. That's him there on the front row of the school picture in Kosciuszko. He's still fond of that haircut, by the way. As an 18-year-old in 1942, he decided to join the Navy. We went in for the physical, and I got kicked out because I had flat feet. But he didn't let that deter him. He went right down the hall to the Marine Corps offices, which just so happened to be using the same doctor. He said, you're a persistent guy, aren't you? He said, I'll tell you what. You get up on that chair, stand up on that chair, and jump down 15 times on the balls of your feet, and if your feet don't hurt, I'll let you go. Oh, hell yes, I did. I didn't know, I don't know, I don't remember whether they heard or not, but I wasn't gonna tell him if they did. After basic training, he was sent to the Pacific, joined the 1st Defense Battalion. My first overseas assignment was a little island of Palmyra, 1,000 miles directly south of Honolulu. He was later assigned to the 2nd Marine Division, where he spent the rest of World War II. It's with this group that he was ultimately sent to Nagasaki, where Archie and his fellow Marines had a job to do when they arrived in September of 1945. We uh, more or less supervised the labor force created from the Japanese army stripping down their armaments that they had and they were loaded on the LSTs taken out to sea and dumped. After seven years in the Marines, Moxigemba wasn't finished serving his country. In May of 1949 he joined the army where he would serve for another 15 years. Three of those years he was stationed in Germany. In his home in Taylor, he's got a map with pins showing exactly where he's traveled and where he served. Wasn't all overseas now. Archie also spent some time at Fort Hood, where he worked hard. I've got one thing that I am going to tell you, that uh, the statute of limitations has played out. And played hard, like this stunt from 1962. My father and my brother-in-law were visiting us at Fort Hood and my, my father had always wanted to ride in a tank. So with the aid of a few beers, uh, I decided, hell, we're going to go ride. I took my brother-in-law and my father and put them in a tank and I'm the driver. And we ran all over Fort Hood. There's hundreds of people that saw that tank running all over the place, and yet nothing ever happened over it. I think he earned that joy ride. By the way, did I mention his father, who went on that tank ride that day, 
served and fought in World War I. His photo still hangs on the wall of Archie's Taylor home. Archie's two sons and a stepson are also veterans. Needless to say, serving this country, being in our military, it's important to this family. The duties that those people polled and what I polled, I don't think they've changed that much. I believe they, they deserve a lot of praise and honor. I was in uh, leadership positions most of my military career, and I always said that the people that served under me are the ones that make me. You saw her picture there. Sadly, Archie lost his second wife, Mary, back in July. She was talented, too. He showed me some of her artwork, which hangs on the walls of his home there. I also had the chance while I was there to visit with two of his great-grandsons, who are both young historians. A special family, for sure. Archie, a very special man.